Thousands are fleeing civil war in Myanmar. These Burmese civilians have spent hours at this border post, hoping to seek refuge in Thailand. On the other side of this bridge, pro-democracy rebels have spent days on the offensive against the Burmese junta. There are many bombings on the Burmese side. Non-stop explosions. But bombs are not the only concern for these young Burmese men. We are afraid because the Burmese army came to our homes to check who was recruitable. We don't want to be enlisted because we've heard that the military beats young recruits and sends them to the front lines without weapons. On the other side of the border, Myanmar's rulers recently introduced mandatory military service. At the start of April, 13 million young Burmese became eligible for conscription. An entire generation is desperate to find a way out. We managed to secretly enter Myanmar for a few hours to talk to these would-be exiles. The country remains off limits to foreign journalists. If we can't avoid conscription, we risk dying in the war. Everyone is worried, whether they're in big cities like Rangoon or small villages. We don't want to be forced to kill other Burmese. If the army had caught me, I would probably be dead by now. This young man, who wishes to remain anonymous, refused to take up arms for the Myanmar generals who seized power after a coup in 2021. He was forced to flee for his life. His first stop was this camp for displaced people deep in rebel territory. Here, you must remain vigilant at all times. We never know when the Burmese army might attack us. The biggest danger is aerial strikes, as the junta has no qualms about targeting civilians. Like many of the 10,000 displaced people near the border, this young man wants only one thing, to cross into Thailand. The neighboring country is separated from Myanmar by this narrow river making it relatively easy to cross without alerting Burmese soldiers or Thai border guards. Back in Thailand, we watch rebel authorities distribute medicine to displaced people. Thailand is keen to prevent the Burmese conflict from spilling over into its own territory, but it permits humanitarian aid. With Thai soldiers looking on, the aid operation takes place in a tense atmosphere. Young people fleeing conscription are not safe in Myanmar. It's very difficult for us to accommodate them. We don't have enough medicine for everyone. The most seriously injured Burmese rebels stand a better chance of survival if they're treated in Thailand. At 33, Ko Thet is an experienced rebel soldier. He was seriously injured a year ago and now helps his comrades at this clandestine hospital. Kothet knows exactly how the Burmese army operates. He served in it before the coup, then deserted to join the insurgency. He says conscription is an admission of failure by the junta. The generals introduced conscription because they're losing too many soldiers. They need to mobilize to offset the losses. By forcibly recruiting young people, the Burmese army will increase its numbers, but the new recruits won't be able to fight as well as professional, more experienced soldiers. Last October, an alliance of rebel groups launched a major offensive across the country. Since then, the junta has suffered numerous defeats. Dead, injured or captured, the Burmese army is said to have lost between 10,000 and 40,000 men. Conscription will not save the Burmese army, because we rebels are already winning. And some brave young people are even joining the ranks of the resistance to avoid being mobilized. The army hopes to take on 60,000 conscripted soldiers within a year but many young people have gone into hiding to avoid being forced to fight. Many have dropped out of education, knowing that their high schools and universities are targeted by army recruiters. We meet this teacher at a secret location. He set up online classes so these young people hiding in Myanmar can continue their studies. I'm supervising the class. For security reasons, students must turn off their webcams. So I'm checking that everyone is doing things correctly. We're cautious because we could be reported. He's also living in Thailand to avoid conscription, and he worries about his students. People who refuse to join the Burmese army risk up to five years in prison. 
They are targeting young people with conscription because they're rebelling against their government. It's another way to control them. They want to destroy their future. This is a generation that generals are willing to sacrifice to cling to power. During our visit in mid-April, we learned of clashes between rebels and army troops in Mayawadi, a strategically important town of 200,000 people near the Thai border. Despite their many military setbacks, Myanmar's generals are refusing to back down.